Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got my brother and my brother-in-law here, which is wonderful. They're very skillful at mixing cement and stuff. Actually, Ruben is quite skillful at this. He's got lots of experience in with this particular mixer. So uh, we are creating uh, footings that hold up this uh, roof structure here that will also <laughs> hold up the deck. So the original footings were very inadequate. In fact, this one right here is only 22 inches long and they're supposed to be 48 inches long minimum to get below the frost line. So we temporarily supported the roof and now uh, we are re-pouring these footings. So I just wanna talk about how these footings work. Uh, basically what these, in the bottom of these holes here, this hole is uh, dug out to a wider diameter. Uh, I think it's about, is it 18 inches? The width of the hole, I don't think I ever measured it. So what you end up with is you <laughs> fill the bottom of the hole with cement and you have a wider 18 or 20 inch uh, circumference of cement in the bottom of the hole. And then you use a sonotube, sonotube or whatever you call them. And this is actually not sonotube, this is a, a metallic spiral duct because we're plumbers and we have some left over uh, from a ducting job. Uh, but it's basically identical to using a sonotube uh, that you use as a pier to extend up from the footing. And you fill this with cement as well. So, And then we're putting dirt around the outside to hold this in place as we go up. And then we've got three pieces of rebar stuck in each one of these. And those go all the way down through that bottom footing and then up. And we pound them down just far enough so that uh, if you ever need to hammer drill holes into the top of this pier, uh, you're not going to hit those pieces of rebar. So over here we have a finished product. And this one is all done. And we've got our string stretch here so we can get the top edge of these pretty close to lined up on all of them. So we have some flex. We'll have to make these support posts to the exact length. Um, but the most important thing is that you get them centered on exactly where you have your columns. So we have this plumb bob. This is actually a plumb wrench, right? It's Bob's not wrench. It, plumb, it's Bob's plumb wrench, Bob's wrench. And a uh, plumb bob would be what you would normally use, um, but that's hanging from where the center of that column's gonna need to be, or post. And then we can center our piers on that point. So that's pretty much the process from empty hole. These are four feet deep. So that both the bottom foot is that wider area. And then we have three foot tubes that we're putting on top of that. And those are obviously just that diameter of the tube. So hopefully this helps somebody. Uh, this matters a lot more in this case because it is holding up a roof structure that's attached to the house. If this was just holding up a deck, you wouldn't have to go this extreme with your uh, things. All right, these guys want to keep going. Did it start on its own? No. <laughs> oh no. Some of the sack creek got a little bit wet, so it's not really high quality. All right, we'll talk to you guys later.